If you've bought any gadget in the past few years, whether it's a phone, a laptop, wireless earbuds, or even a power bank, you've probably noticed the same tiny oval-shaped port staring back at you, USB-C. It's on everything now, almost to the point where you feel left out if your device doesn't use it. But how did this little connector suddenly become the universal standard? Why is every tech company embracing it? Today, we're unpacking the story of USB-C, what it is, what makes it different, and why it has quietly taken over our digital lives. And yes, we'll finally answer the big question. Is USB-C really better? Or did we all just agree to switch because everyone else was doing it? So, let's break it all down, right here, on History of Simple Things. USB-C is simply the latest physical connector design in the long USB family tree. You know how old USB ports used to be big chunky rectangles? That was USB-A. You also might remember the tiny trapezoid-shaped micro USB that always took you three tries to plug in correctly. USB-C replaces both of those with a slimmer reversible connector that works no matter which side you flip it. But the shape is only one part of the story. USB-C isn't just a connector. It's a gateway for multiple technologies at once. It can transmit data, video, and electricity all through that one small port, which is why manufacturers love it. Instead of making a device with five different types of ports, USB-C lets them streamline everything into one. It's like the port version of a multi-tool. Simple on the outside, powerful under the hood. One of the biggest reasons USB-C exploded in popularity is the sheer amount of capability packed into it. For starters, it supports very fast data transfers, up to speed so high that you can move huge files between devices in seconds, not minutes. It can also deliver enough power to charge something as small as earbuds or as demanding as a gaming laptop. With USB Power Delivery, or USB-PD, a USB-C cable can adjust how much power flows depending on the device, making it both safer and more efficient. And that's not all. USB-C can carry video signals through protocols like DisplayPort and HDMI. This is why laptops can connect to monitors with just one cable delivering both charging and display output at the same time. A single USB-C cable can replace the mess of cords we used to deal with, chargers, display adapters, and data cables, all rolled into one. You might be wondering, if USB-C is so great, why didn't we get it sooner? The truth is, Standardizing ports takes time because tech companies love doing things their own way. We had Apple with its lightning connector, Android phones using micro USB, and laptops relying on barrel chargers. Everyone had a different system, which meant you needed a different cable for practically every device you owned. What pushed USB-C forward was a combination of convenience and regulation. Manufacturers realized a universal connector made production simpler, and consumers loved the idea of not carrying 10 different chargers. The final big push came from governments, especially the European Union, which mandated a single charging standard to reduce electronic waste. And USB-C was the obvious choice. Once that happened, even companies that resisted the switch eventually embraced it, making USB-C the default for almost everything today. From a business perspective, USB-C is a dream. It lets companies build thinner and more compact devices because the port doesn't take up much space. It also reduces manufacturing costs since one port can handle multiple functions. Companies can offer features like fast charging, 4K video output, 
and super fast data speeds without creating separate versions of their product. And because USB-C is universal, companies no longer have to design proprietary chargers or cables, which cuts down on parts, testing, and customer complaints. It's efficient, flexible, and future-proof enough that brands can rely on it for years without having to redesign their entire hardware ecosystem. For everyday users, the rise of USB-C makes life much easier. If your devices all use USB-C, you can carry one charger for almost everything. No more digging through drawers to find the right connector. No more packing different cables when you travel. Plus, USB-C's faster charging and high data speeds mean your gadgets run more efficiently overall. Transferring photos, charging laptops, connecting to TVs, it all feels smoother with USB-C. And as more devices adopt it, accessories become cheaper and more consistent. The technology behind USB-C also keeps improving, so future versions will continue to get faster and more capable without needing a new connector shape. That means your current cables won't become useless anytime soon. Of course, no technology is perfect. USB-C cables may look identical, but not all of them offer the same features. One cable might support fast charging, while another might not handle video output. Some are made for high-speed data transfer, while others are basic charging cables. This is where most of the confusion comes from. Thankfully, manufacturers are starting to label cables more clearly and future standards aim to make the system less confusing. Still, once you understand the differences, USB-C becomes a lot easier to work with. USB-C isn't just another tech trend, it's a major step towards simplifying how we connect and power our devices. It replaced dozens of older ports, made charging universal, and created a cleaner and more efficient tech world. The fact that one small connector can charge a laptop, run a 4K monitor, transfer files at incredible speeds, and still fit on something as tiny as wireless earbuds is genuinely impressive. And as technology continues to evolve, USB-C will likely stay with us as the standard that ties all our gadgets together. So the next time you plug in that little oval-shaped port, you'll know exactly why it's everywhere and why it's here to stay. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.